71 degrees at a Kroger Field, our BCTC live weather by camera. Uh, not showing any showers or storms as of yet, but pay attention because I'm going to talk about when those showers and storms should get in here. And then uh, tomorrow you'll know exactly what's going on. That's why I'm here. Uh, we've got a southwest wind at 7 miles per hour. We've got temperatures in the 70s and 60s. It's low 60s in Harlan. And check this out. It got hot yesterday. We hit 90 degrees. We not only got up to our record high, we blew past it. And that was our first 90 degree high of the year for Lexington and our earliest since 1952. So yeah, a little ahead of schedule there with that heat. And of course, we've been dealing with it all weekend and in the early part of the week. Tuesday's record high of 89 degrees. Today, set back in 62 like yesterday's was, and we've got a shot at it. Uh, what could slow us down, though, an increase in cloud cover, and look at this out west, some showers and storms. Now, we had a nice round blossom out around Evansville late last night and into early this morning, and it washed out as it tracked east. But it's an indication that showers and storms are knocking on our door, and that old frontal boundary, that cold front that's been stalled out over the Great Lakes since last week, is ever so slowly, it's shown it's stalled out now, ever so slowly going to start to track a little closer to the Ohio River. That is the focus for showers and storms, and as it draws closer, we will see an increasing chance for showers and storms. So much of your day today into the early and even mid-afternoon, I don't anticipate seeing much going on. But by late afternoon and this evening, you start to notice some spotty coverage. It's not going to be widespread at first. Uh, but overnight and into tomorrow morning, we will start to see a better chance for those showers and storms firing. Pretty low end chance for severe storms, but we could have some stronger storms and definitely some heavy rain. And that'll be the way it goes on and off again. This is getting into tomorrow morning. You notice they're still hanging around through the rest of the week. So some folks getting hit, some folks not so much. This is into Wednesday afternoon, another repeated round of showers and storms. Peak coverage could be especially into the afternoon when you throw that daytime heating in. And uh, with that old boundary stalled north, uh, it'll just d depend on uh, when we get the trigger rolling. But we'll see these waves rolling through. We could see anywhere between about one to three inches of rainfall over the next five days. Talked about this yesterday with some of the uh, higher end totals, anywhere from two to possibly three inches of rain. So, yeah, we are going to pick up some rainfall. And we've been in a bit of a dry stretch. Of course, that goes along with the hot stretch that we've been in. Uh, but all that's set to change. Upper 80s, near record highs again today. Uh, with scattered showers and thunderstorms developing late this afternoon into this evening, probably becoming more widespread overnight. And then we'll see on again, off again chances for showers and thunderstorms the rest of the week. And uh, temperatures falling as well from near 90. We hit 90 yesterday, near 90 today to probably only around 80, if not upper 70s, Thursday and Friday. And the dip in temperatures, the low end in the temperatures, corresponds with the higher coverage of showers and storms. So... Yeah, getting into a more unsettled phase, a more springy feel to your forecast instead of this dog days of summer stuff we've been dealing with. Into the weekend, the good news is we're still above average, we're still warm, and we'll slowly back off the shower and storm chance may actually have a cold front sweep through instead of just kind of hanging out and keeping those showers and storms persistent. Yeah, here you go for all the people who were uh, complaining about not getting spring. Here it is, rain everywhere. <laughs> right Congratulations. Yes, you're welcome. All right.